Sometimes yours truly here. This is an object. Objects exist to do something for me, while I, Lacey, cutter of paper, am the subject. Subjects act while objects are acted upon. Now I know you're thinking, crazy Lacey, what's this got to do with sexuality? And the answer is everything. So I've been wanting to make a video on this topic forever because I think that it is a huge hindrance to a truly equal, healthy, sex-positive society. And that's really all I want in life. Drum roll please, sexual objectification. Objectification is defined as the viewing of people solely as depersonalized objects of desire instead of individuals with complex personalities and desires or plans of their own. In less fancy speak, it's where someone is treated as basically a thing to have sex with. Women are very often portrayed as pretty things to look at, something to try to have sex with. Turn on almost any sitcom on TV and you're gonna see this normalized. We're so heavily exposed to this imagery that scientists have found that both men and women see women's bodies as a mishmash of sexual body parts while we see men as whole people. Hot, right? Uh, uh, not really. I actually think it's pretty messed up. Speaking of hot though, often objectification is confused with thinking that a woman's hot. But objectification is not the same as being sexual or being sexually attracted to someone. That's a natural part of life, right? But what's not natural and is very much manufactured is constantly portraying women as sex objects for male pleasure. Objectification is women's magazines being littered with all of the things that men don't like. Objectification is being cast called and harassed just for walking down the street. It's save the boobies and don't let cancer steal second base as breast cancer campaign slogans. It's shitty commercial after shitty commercial using women's bodies to sell everything from A to Z. Close ups on her ass, her lips, her breasts to sell beer? Cologne? jeans, jewelry. Sometimes it's hard to tell what they're even selling. Objectification is the preoccupation with trans women's genitals and defining her in terms of her sex parts. It's being bombarded with sexy cleavage in every magazine ever while being told that breastfeeding is obscene. It's school dress codes for girls that are designed not to distract the boys because her knees, her shoulders are so sexualized that a tank top is deemed inappropriate. Objectification is the thousands of comments on my YouTube videos where men talk about my breasts, my body, and leave graphic sexual comments about me. It's a flood of movies and TV shows where men of all different body types date women of one body type. It's women's bodies used as sexy background accessories and music videos. Objectification is the idea that men and women simply cannot be friends because men could never see a woman as anything but sexual. It's regular Halloween costumes for boys and sexed up versions, only sexed up versions, for girls. You see where I'm going this? You see what I'm saying? Seeing women as sex objects is a part of our cultural subconscious. We do it and we live in it and we aren't even aware of how bizarre it actually is. In a sane world, one that we do not live in, everyone will be mostly subjects and occasionally objects. Now this is actually the status quo for men right now. This is not the status quo for women. 96% of sexually objectifying imagery is of women's bodies. This pattern reveals one hell of a message about gender, that men are mostly sexual subjects and women are mostly sexual objects. That inequality is the reason why this picture looks commonplace while this picture looks kind of awkward. In this kind of culture, men are granted more sexual power than women, which leads us to see the world through men's eyes. We learn that male sexuality is active, that they're visual creatures, and that the objectification of women in their life using women for sex is both normal and praiseworthy. Hell, it might even be funny and charming. Secondly, we don't require that men look a particular way to be taken seriously. The cultural narrative looks at men as whole people, which leads to mostly men's stories being told, 80% of political offices being occupied by men, men occupying the highest ranks in virtually every industry in the world. Thirdly, because women's bodies are subject to constant frivolous criticism, girls learn quickly to self-objectify. The APA reports that self-objectification results in lower cognitive and motor functioning, increased sexual dysfunction, and body shame. They found that self-objectification is direct 
heavily related to girls pursuing fewer careers in STEM fields. It's also a major contributor to mental health issues like eating disorders and depression, which disproportionately affect young women. And to go all the way into the shadows, Sexual objectification contributes to a culture where sexual violence isn't taken seriously. It tells us that male power over women is normal and sexual equality is something that most people don't even understand. That men are sexually aggressive while women are sexually submissive. That men should want and women should want to be wanted by men. You know, she should take that harassment as a compliment. She asked for it. He can't help himself. He can't be raped. We all deserve better because this this is some bullshit. Everyone should be pissed that this is so normal. Are you pissed? I'm pissed. Let's change it. First step, gotta be aware of it. Then cue the micro changes. This is pretty simple to do actually. Stop evaluating women on how they look and treating them like sex objects. Treat women like people. If you already do that, yay! Then it's time to speak up when you see companies and media doing this. Let them know it's not okay. Support people who are speaking out and become a giant cyclone of change that is unstoppable. If you made it this far, you have officially made it through my longest video on YouTube. Gold star! I am going to be speaking at a bunch of schools. Check it out in the description. Also, tons of links and thingies. Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions or thoughts. Mwah! Take care, and I'll see y'all next time. Except your mom, oh. What?